Welcome to Aerobics Our Style and thank you for your company today. As usual, we'd like to join you now for a little bit of a warm-up routine. It's this marching in position. Today's workout. Now, I've got to ask you this question. Why do we have bottoms? Not just for show, they are extremely sexy little things. But folks, the most important reasons why they're there is to help support your back and the weight around your pelvis. And because of this very reason, they tend to get a little bit flabby and sometimes we do lose sight of them. They spread out or they kind of drop down below the knee line. And today we're going to show you and demonstrate some exercises that will help to get them in shape again. But don't assume that what you do today is going to be the answer to all your problems. No, it is a combination of good eating habits and also a variety, a wide variety of exercise with workouts. Continue marching in position. Let's begin by taking a nice deep breath up and exhale down. Try this one more time. Raise the arms up as high as you can and release them by the side of the body. Just take an easy walk to the front of the room and back again. Not too wide with this leg position. So there you have it. Lower body workout is what we're doing today, but the emphasis is on toning and shaping the buttocks. Some exercises which you can incorporate in your weekly exercise program. Two more like this. Now take a side toe tap with your right left leg and start to wake up the shoulders and the arms by just punching them down directly to the center. Torso is lifted nice and high. Activate your abdominal muscles. Soft down on that supporting knee. Make the punches just a tiny bit smaller. Strong control pushes here. Ready to go back to that easy walk. Here we go. Forward, step back. Not too wide. Now once you feel yourself warming into the exercises, I like to encourage you to take a deeper bend on top of those thighs. We want the impact to sit on the thighs, not the knees. So when you do this movement, simple as it may seem, you don't want to lunge forward with the trunk. Keep it nice and strong, sit on top of the legs instead. Two more. Last one, single toe tap side to side. Easy. Don't slam the foot down with that toe tap. Just gently, just imagine you're exercising on a sheet of glass. Strong arm shoulder lines. Five, six, easy walk for the last set. Take it forward, sit back. Now down we go. Come on, you gotta drop that body on top of those legs. The idea of the warm up is to prepare yourself for the workouts that's about to come. And it's a good way, one of the best ways to also avoid injury, getting the blood circulating throughout the muscles. Stay with this for another four counts. Sit on top of those legs. Do two more. One more. Side toe tap. Can you make it a little bit longer with that lunge? Arms working harder. Stay with that lower body combination. Begin to punch directly to the front of the room. Well done. Another four more. Breathing is control. We're gonna keep our arm lines nice and low throughout this warm up. Take it to the side if you can. That's it. With this arm combination, you want to feel the exercises beginning from the waist and ending beyond your hands. Directly to the front of the room again. Right forward. Come on. Working every part of that body to the side for the last set. Right here. Longer, stronger. Back down to the front of the room again. Here we go. Strong punch. Begin to add a little propulsion if you feel you are ready. If not, avoid them. Four more. Three. No drastic twists in the knees or the hips. Another set. Here we go. Huffing and puffing, warming into the exercise. Now take a nice deep breath and march on the spot. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Easy. Hands on the hips and just working yourself through a little toe tap. Be conscious of pulling your toes up towards your shin there. Soft down onto the knees. Well done, everybody. Can you move yourself away from the screen to the front of the room? Let's go. Little clap. Travel. Take it up to the front. Another four more times. Shoulders are nice and relaxed. Three more to go. Good. And another two more like this. One more time. Now, what I want you to do here is a slow squat to your right corner. Drag the left foot in, repeat it to this side. Down we go. Not too deep with the squat. Remember, you are still warming up. As you open up those legs, they turn out at a 45 degree angle. Now, you're going to scratch that foot across the ground, but nice and easy. Push, 
push it. Deep breaths now. Because we've slowed the exercise down, I'd like you to focus just for a moment in focusing, taking a nice and deep breaths. Up we come. Again. Hands sitting on top of those thighs. Last set of four. Three more. Two. Now we're going to leave those legs open and finish off with this one. Stretch it all the way up. Sit it down. I'm going to leave you in this position, a little rotation through that waist. Stay right where you are. Continue warming up throughout the break. When you come back, get ready to sit down on the floor and we'll start you off with some lower body workouts. Well, if you're still up on your feet, join the rest of us down on the ground. We're going to start you off on those exercises. Now, this particular movement that I like to show you, and hopefully you'll join in, is to basically get you in tune with these large muscles that sit directly behind you, that you are actually sitting on top of. Now, if you're just a beginner, or this is the first time that you're doing this sort of exercise, you will fatigue quite easily. That's quite normal. What I want you to do is just stop. When you get to that stage, have a little bit of a rest, a bit of a breather, lean back, give your legs a bit of a shake out, and then start when you're ready. You start with your legs extended out in front of you. You're gonna have to use your abdominal muscles. So lock them in position, nice long backs. You can leave your hands here if you want, or fold them directly in front of your chest. What you're going to do now is squeeze the bottom together. Now you're going to squeeze them so tight that you can feel yourself having a little bit of a lift as you do this. All right, but we don't want you to cheat here, and I'm going to keep a close eye on the girls. Don't squeeze your inner thighs. <laughs> Jody, you had a giggle there. Don't squeeze the inner thighs. Okay, so squeeze the bottom. You know how I know? I can feel the inner thighs contracting and you're actually bringing your legs in together. So we don't want that. Not only are you exercising the buttocks, you're also forcing your trunk muscles to work quite effectively. You're making yourself sit up. You're stabilizing this part of the body. Now, if you're starting to fatigue, have a rest. Give those legs a bit of a shake. Good. Two more. One more. Relax it now. Now we're going to do this in another position. Beginners, you might find this a lot more comfortable. That was quite an advanced position, but so don't worry about it. Lie down, stretch your legs out, arms open. Now see, the lift becomes higher. Drop the head, squeeze the bottom real tight. We're not going to be doing this all day. I thought I'd just show it to you, get you to join in the exercise so you can actually use it. Whenever you're sitting at home watching TV, you've got nothing better else to do, get down on the ground while you're watching TV and just do something like this. Another four more, lift. Bottoms really squeezing in, two more. One more. Now raise your legs into your chest, turn on your side and come up in that sitting position again. The other thing is whenever you're lying on your back, that's the position you should be coming out of. Knees into your chest, tip over to the side and come up in a sitting position. Same thing, genie, woo! Squeezing it real tight, lift it up. It's hard, isn't it? And you've got no choice but to use your tummy muscles because every time you squeeze your buttocks, your tummy muscles are contracting at the same time. They're all connected. Now folks, if you've got weak buttocks, you can bet your bottom dollar that your lower back muscles are weak as well because they're all connected. And then on top of that, you can also bet your abdominals are weak as well. They all help support that lower part of the body. What are you saying, Wendy? Your bottom dollar, yeah. I mean, it's a slip of the tongue there. No fault of the mind. Good job. Come on, hang in there. Just a little bit more, you can always sit your hands behind your back to help support you. Don't push down on your hands there, Michelle. I can see what you're doing. She's got her hands behind her and she's pushing down on her hands to help her lift. Come on, take your hands off the floor. As for that, you've got to do four more. <laughs> Another two more. One to go and relax it. Slip yourself over onto the side of the body, pull your knees into the chest, extend the leg and work it into this position. There you go. That was probably the most boring directing that the director has ever done. <laughs> Sitting in here, us squeezing our bottom, 
not much to work with. What you're doing with this one is working very deeply into the muscles, the tiny muscles that sit, sit deep into the buttock area. As you work this top leg, it comes down on an angle, extends upright. So it should reach higher than the top of that shoulder, not too high. We don't want impingement of the hip joint. Just comfortable enough for you to work through the exercise. Comes down on an angle, just imagine you're climbing over the fence, over it, pull away, over it, pull away. Can you do another eight? Say yes. Good. You're almost there. Come on, don't give up. You've got four more. Think about that lovely bottom of yours. It's going to be nice and hard. Yay! Well done, everybody. No resting for the wicked. Off you go into this corner. Do the rest on your own. When we come back, we'll get you back up on your feet. So some more exercises for the lower half of the body. This next lot of exercise will target quite major muscles around the legs. The quads, the front of your thighs, hips, hamstrings, as well as the buttocks. Now, if you've got a tremendous amount of floor space to work with, I encourage you to actually work through travelling patterns. If you're limited with your floor space, do the exercises stationary. So you're just going to basically do single leg lunges in one position. But the rest of us, let's get in line, girls. You should take four walks forward if you're going to be using that wider space. Lunging forward with your right leg, step together, left, step together, right, together, left. Then march back to where you were. Once again, you can do this in the spot. Ready? Right leg steps out to the front of the room. No, that was my left. Sorry. <laughs> Easy down. March back to where you were. Strong marches now. We want to keep that body warmed up. Five and six. Right leg this time. Big strong lunges. The back of the knee should only come halfway down to the floor, not touching the ground. Take it back. You've got lots of space there, Michelle. Are you okay? Five and six. Five, six, seven, eight. Big strong lunges. Now when you do this exercise, regardless of whether you're traveling or doing it in position, march back. You don't want to lunge for the shoulders. Hold it, right leg comes forward again. Sit down into the bottom, nice and tight with those glutes. One more, march back for two more sets. Hold it on the spot, five and six, seven, here we go, stretch. Strike the foot with the heel of that forward foot, then roll into the ball of the foot, march back. All right, we're gonna do this one more time, continue marching on the spot. Girls, are you ready? Last set, give it all you got. Down. Remember, the back knee does not touch the floor. March into your position, hold for eight. Quite a strong exercise. Beginners, you're gonna be feeling a little bit of cardio workout in there. Warm up, squat to the side. Remember this one we did. So the good selection of lower body workout today. I've introduced you back to your bottom. Some simple exercises that you're just getting to get you to be aware of this part of the body and how difficult it is to actually get it to be exercised. And then these ones that you're doing, major muscles working together. You gotta to sit down evenly on top of those legs as you go from side to side. Don't make the mistake of transferring all your body weight on one leg. Share it. Down, stand up tall. Well done. Now let's wake up the shoulders while we're doing this. Stretch them out, relax. Stretch them out, relax. You gotta squeeze between the shoulder blades. They're just not fancy arm lines. Make them work. Shoulder, upper back coming into this one. Elbows are soft, so you're not locked in position. Last one, continue working with the legs, relax the arms. Down we go. Ooh. Huffing and puffing, feeling a little out of breath. Well, stop and have a rest. Don't push yourself. Control your pace. We've got four more. You're almost to the end. Don't give up. A little lower if you can with those squats. One more to go. Last one. Marching on the spot. Take a deep breath. Whew. And the last one. Let's go back to our walking lunges again. Right leg, go. Easy. Feeling comfortable? 
march back eight seven six five four three two one down we go strike with the heel and then march back for eight eight seven six five four three two one into the movement this is the last time we're going to be doing this marching on the spot back to your spaces now what did i mean when i actually say strike with your foot just on a side profile here if i can get a close-up of my lower leg when you lunge forward strike with the heel contact roll into the ball of the foot if you land on the tops of your toes, you tend to overextend through the knee area, so we want to avoid that. Take a march in the spot. Go back to that second combination. Here we go. Down, slide up. Strong legs here. Forget about thinking about nice, slim, long, thin, skinny-like legs. You're going to be happy with, you've got to be happy with what you've got. That is the way you are built. But what you can do is actually firm up those muscles, get them back in shape, nice and strong again. If you have a tendency to have fairly big legs, well, and your muscles are quite large here, you may consider just perhaps avoiding any form of weight trainings because you perhaps have a tendency to react very quickly to weight training. In your case, you should be doing lots of aerobic type workouts. Push down and stay open with those legs. Stretch the arms out to the side of the room. Stick out your chest. Now rotate your shoulders. Press back with the palms, the hands. And I'm going to leave you to do some squatting on your own. When we come back, a well-deserved stretch is coming your way. See you soon. I'll quickly move you into a bit of a stretch first, beginning with our hamstring. Pop your right foot forward. Now keep the trunk, your waist, shoulder, chest above the waist level. Always remember to sit both hands on the bent knee. Easy down there, you should be feeling the stretch along that hamstring muscle here. Directly behind the back of your thigh. Easy down. We call this the standing hamstring stretch. You can also perform this stretch lying on your back. You bend the other leg as you're doing right here and just extend the leg, you're stretching 90 degree angle towards the ceiling. So that's a lying down hamstring stretch. Rolling up gently through the base of the spine. Switch legs when you're comfortable. Pressing it through. Your body is now cooling down, winding itself down. This is the opportunity for you to take a nice deep breath just to relax and calm your mind. Relaxing all those muscles there. Continue to feed your body the muscles with lots and lots of oxygen. Okay, rolling up through the base of the spine, taking those legs out wide. As I move you down into an inner thigh stretch, think of pulling those hips, muscles along your hips up towards the tummy area, avoid locking back into the knee. If you like to lower that hand down to the floor, that's fine. If you start to feel any pain or discomfort, pull back on the intensity of the stretch. Now take yourself over to this left corner, drop it down. That's the way, chest up nice and high. And then we gently come out to the center. If you can just shuffle your feet a little closer in, easy up. And before I get you down on the ground to do some more stretches, a quick one for the waist area. You should feel that stretch working right along the side of the body, long arm pulling out of that hip. Continue bracing this part of the area. And relax it up and over, stretch it tall. Nice and long. Let it down. We drop down onto your right knee. Strike your right left foot forward. And this should help you to stretch into that hip flexor. Now, I'd just like to touch on what I said during that last part of the workout. If you're the type of person that has a tendency to react quickly to a certain type of exercise, so if your body is quite uh, stalky, you've got fairly large, big built person, you may consider doing more aerobic conditioning rather than weight training. And if you're the type of person that has to have a tendency to have long limbs, skinny legs, you may be more suited to weight training because you want to actually build up and get some shape back into the body. I know in my case, I react to do different types of exercise. Running is fantastic for me. A little bit of weight training because any more than that, I tend to blow up and releasing it. It's all about getting to know what your body likes, doesn't like how, how it responds to certain exercise. What sort of exercise suits you, Effie? 
that your body re responds to. She likes the same as me, a little bit of aerobics and a little bit of weight training. Wendy, you favor a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Michelle? No weight training. There you go, just aerobics. Why is that? Well, there you go. She doesn't like the bulkiness that weight training does give to you. Just want to have nice, long, slim legs. And Jody, very quickly, what do you like? Bit of both again. Maybe the same thing in your case. Give it a try. Down on those hands and knees, stretching out through the hips, the lower back, extending. The whole idea is to have lots and lots of variety in your exercise program. Don't just stick to one thing because your body does adapt very quickly and it does need the change. Up we come, girls. Knees open. Listen, we've got to go. We're getting a wind down here. Hope you've enjoyed today's workout. Do tune in again for the very next one. Bye-bye.